let's make crane hook assembly in solid works today we are going to create or animate this simple crane hook assembly in solid works we will create each and every part and assemble at the end and even though we will make this exploded view at the end i hope you like it and if you want to download the soft copy uh, drawing copy jpg file you can simply go to our facebook page and from where you can uh, download jpg file crane hook drawing here we will create each and every part separately and we will assemble at the end and also we will make exploded view at the end now this is the our main drawing if you check zoom note all dimensions are in millimeter chamfer 1 millimeter into 45 degree scale 1 is to 1.5 okay now here we have table we have all the almost 11 parts material mild steel mild steel normally a low carbon steel so we will consider it as a plain carbon steel and here we have quantity for this okay now we will start with first part crane hook you will see here the width of this 22 millimeter and this is a kind of square you will see here in right hand side this is thickness 22 millimeter now comes make this anchor first you will see these corner radius 25 distance 25 millimeter from bottom cut to cut 100 millimeter end to end this tip radius 25 see this seems smooth so we will consider this all edges are tangent together okay now you will see a height from here 43 millimeter 32 millimeter up to this end so let's do this now go to front plane sketch activate here center line draw one vertical center line now again activate line tool draw one vertical line go back to the point and draw one half curve again go back to the point and the line is converted into arc again go back to the point and line is converted into arc draw this press escape key to out okay A smart dimension let me define few dimensions let's say 12 millimeter this corner radius 11 millimeter 5 millimeter this tip radius this radius 25 okay I am going to define this point as a tangent because if you don't define this tangent it will be create a problem while making fillet so this is important thing a smart dimension okay before going to make a smart dimension go to mirror entities and I am going to select 1 2 3 4 and this line make sure we selected copy mirror about this line okay and I am going to close this line fine now we have closed geometry press escape key to out a smart dimension press and hold shift key select the outer edges of this 100 millimeter okay okay let's rotate something like this now try okay 43 that's going to be perfect for our job so we will keep this one as it is smart dimension this is going to be 43 plus 32 here we will do one thing this is 25 coincide see now this is fully defined sketch extrude keep end condition mid plane from start keep same 22 millimeter and I am going to keep this one okay now at top you will see there is circular body 30 diameter 20 diameter 14 diameter and there is M16 machine thread there is a one hole 3 diameter from 7 millimeter and you will observe 16 and if you calculate this one this is going to be 3 millimeter 31.5 so let's make this with the help of revolve boss base feature front plane is sketch activate line tool and start from center
connect now we have close profile smart dimension before going to make smart dimension make this one construction line and you will see if you move outside it will show you diameter 16 14 20 and the last one 30 okay now this length 16 5 and this is going to be 3 and the last length 31 look this is fully defined sketch now go to feature activate revolve boss base feature due to this construction line this is open profile so system ask you would you like the sketch to be automatically closed say yes by default system took the center line as an axis of revolution and I want to make a complete 360 board, 360 degree body. So system detect 360 degree. Keep merge, otherwise it becomes body number two. Okay. Look here. Now corner fillet R3, R6, and this all we will make this hole and activate fillet. Fillet type constant size full preview tangent propagation and radius 6 mm and I am going to select both the sides say ok again fillet this time I am going to choose 3 mm constant type fillet and select this inside edge ok now here we have to make one hole before going to make a hole I am going to apply here thread so I am going to apply machine thread because machine thread practically seems better view annotation cosmetic thread now here I am going to select this edge ISO standard machine thread and this is going to be M16 up to next say ok if you can't see then just go to option documents property detailing shaded cosmetic thread okay now look front plane is sketch activate here hole and draw one hole 3 enter press escape key to out and distance from outer edge 7 this is still not fully defined select center point hold shift key origin point and make vert vertical now see this is fully defined sketch extruded cut now here I want to make throughout hole so I am going to in direction I am going to choose through all both say ok look right click material edit material mild steel is low carbon steel so I am going to apply plain carbon apply close see if you don't like this finish we have option brush finish okay this looks more visible save go to desktop new folder create crane hook drawing This is the part number one hook. Save. Open new. New part. Let's make support plate. You will see 115 millimeter center to center 75. Corner radius 18. See here then there is a 315 diameter hole okay then at center these are 25 then a 3 6 diameter 3 hole PCD this pitch circle diameter 35 angle 30 and distance 32 millimeter from here and 7 millimeter thick front plane a sketch activate line tool start to make one triangle 
press escape key to out now select this point hold shift key and origin point vertical select origin point and this line midpoint this is important fill it now corner radius 18 mm so select all okay close now again apply distance hold shift key distance from outer edge you must hold shift key 115 okay now center to center distance 76 let me apply three holes 15 enter now here draw one big hole and one is small hole okay now select these three holes corner holes make relation equal outer one this is our PCD construction activate draw one circle here 6 enter press escape key 2 out now vertical smart dimension 25 35 PCD okay again we have to apply angle Thirty degree and distance from bottom edge thirty two. Look, this is seems fully defined sketch. Circular pattern. Here I am going to select this center point. Here select pattern to entities this hole. Now I will I'm not going to change this one angle I'm going to keep 360 degree equal spacing okay instances number of holes three rest keep as it is okay if this is still not fully defined make import few relation hold shift key select this one coincide for this one this one coincide this is fully defined sketch extrude now here start condition from keep same end condition or direction 1 mid plane 7 millimeter okay this is also mild steel so I am going to apply plane carbon but appearance I don't want this so go to appearance edit appearance okay now let me save this one support plate okay now here the next part is anchor you will see this is top view and this is side view in top view you will see 46 square so this is the square and what is the depth of this square you will see here 22 millimeter then there is one circular body outer diameter 38 and this set distance from outside to outside 31 millimeter then there is one hole cut out 32 millimeter 3 millimeter depth 25 millimeter so let's make this first okay let's use front plane a sketch center rectangle now height 22 press tab 46 enter right click see extrude now keep end condition mid plane and here make 46 millimeter so that we will get a perfect square okay select top face sketch circle and here draw circle and this diameter 38 enter okay extrude now in direction 1 
थर्टी वन माइनस ट्वेंटी टू डिवाइड बाई टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव सो इन डायरेक्शन वन फोर पॉइंट फाइव हियर एक्टिवेट ब्लाइंड मूविंग इन वन डायरेक्शन एक्टिवेट डायरेक्शन टू हियर एड वट इज द थिकनेस दिस ट्वेंटी टू प्लस फोर पॉइंट फाइव लुक सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बिकम थर्टी वन टोटल ओके फाइन फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच लाइन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ वन वर्टिकल लाइन प्रेस स्केप की टू आउट नाउ दिस डेप्थ थ्री मिलीमीटर नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू इट्स जस्ट हाफ सिमिलरली फॉर दिस थर्टी टू डिवाइड बाई टू नाउ हियर एक्टिवेट रिवॉल्व कट फीचर Now here we have to define axis of revolution according to this body will move. So I am going to define this as axis of revolution. This is going to cut in one direction. If we keep blind, it will rotate from one side to an angle three sixty degree. Say okay. Look. Now corner fillet there is a three millimeter. Okay, and after that this you will see ten twelve. you have to expand in both side 2 mm is the gap after thread and thread is what for m12 so 16 and this is 12 okay i am going to select right plane sketch line and close press escape key to out Select this line construction. Now define. If move outside, it will show you outer diameter, sixteen. For this one, I am going to keep twelve. Twelve millimeter. Ten millimeter. Now activate here. Revolve boss base. Now this is open profile. So system asks you, would you like the sketch to be close? Say yes, and see the center line is detected by system axis of revolution. Three sixty degree a complete solid body. Say okay. Now here I am going to apply fillet. Uh, go to annotations cosmetic thread. Select this edge. ISO standard machine thread size M12 up to blind here depth 10 minus 2 gap is shown 2 okay documents property detailing activate shaded cosmetic thread see front plane mirror See front plane is selected. Feature to mirror. Drop down and choose revolve boss base. Say okay. Look, thread also featured. Fillet, constant type fillet, and here radius fillet parameter three millimeter. And I am going to add both side. Okay. right click on material and here apply plain carbon steel appearance you can directly apply double click and it will apply directly here and i am going to edit appearance and i want to apply some dark color okay save this is our part number 3 hook anchor Let's make part number four. Four according to table and bush. We need two number mild steel. Okay. Now see outer diameter fifty two. 
thickness 5 and 7 25 and there is a hole 16 see here and uh, there is a three hole six diameter pcd 35 okay corner there is a radius at corner so i am going to select here front plane a sketch activate line tool close now draw one center line press escape key to out select the line and activate construction line a smart dimension select this one and select this line if you move cursor outside it will show you diameter so 52 the inner ready 16 this outer 25 okay five and this is going to be seven now this is fully defined sketch because we have a relation with this coincide revolve boss base see axis by default system automatically took the axis 360 degree okay see here a sketch draw one circle 35 make sure these select here for construction again activate circle and draw circle at this 6 enter okay this is fully defined sketch activate circular pattern here i am going to select this center point here number of instances 3 360 degree equally spacing you must select here select pattern to entity select this see three number of going now this is not fully defined so create one relation hold shift key select this line coincide coincide look now activate extruded cut feature and here select through all okay see right click material plane carbon appearance double click and it will apply edit from here i am going to apply like let's say red okay save this is part number four and bush part number 5 is pay, plate spacer 82 length 18 18 there is a thread m15 22 millimeter this diameter and there is a gap 5 millimeter so let's do this front plane is sketch activate here line tool and i'm going to select press escape key to out of sketch now here we have to create many relations first press and hold shift key select origin point and line and make midpoint okay now select these two lines press and hold shift key here we have to create two relation equal and collinear in one line smart dimension 82 18 millimeter if you make this line as a construction line a smart dimension select this line and if move cursor it will show you diameter 22 for this line 15 see revolve boss base now this is construction line that's why system asks you would you like to close say yes see system detect the axis of revolution and make a complete solid body with 360 degree keep end condition blind and move as it is a 
insert annotations cosmetic thread i am going to apply this side iso standard machine thread and here i am going to apply okay if you don't find m15 here no problem standard choose none and here for m15 what is the pitch 13.8 this is the minor diameter i am going to keep for this and for here 18 minus 5 it's 13 okay okay option documents property detailing activate shaded cosmetic thread similarly i am going to apply another side none here 18 minus 5 13 13.8 is minor diameter say okay right click material plane carbon steel edit appearance and this is going to be our okay now let me save this one plate spacer now next part is part number six is bush brass one quantity see 32 millimeter outer there is a hole 20 diameter hole uh, diameter symbol missing here 3 millimeter this depth overall length 31 25 okay front plane is sketch now activate line tool okay let's select okay i want one center line also okay let's apply distance if move cursor it will show you diameter 25 inner one 20 this outer one 30 this depth 3 and distance from overall length 31 okay make one relation hold shift key select this line and this one coincide this is fully defined sketch go to feature and use revolve boss base feature now activate by default system took this line as axis of revolution and it creates 360 degree see 360 if you make it 180 it will show you only half so i want to make 360 degree right click edit material material you have to apply brass brass you will find copper alloy brass you will see the all property this mass density 8500 kg per cubic meter apply close edit appearance okay dark color make more visible bush now let's make part number seven lock nut m12 outer diameter 25 there is a hole m12 threaded hole depth 18 and corner chamfer 1 into 45 degree and there is a one key slot four number of key slot four and this corner to depth two millimeter okay let's front plane sketch activate circle and make diameter 25 extrude here simply make depth 8 millimeter okay now let's make chamfer before going to do anything here keep chamfer type angle distance here directly put one millimeter 45 degree and here chamfer item i'm going to select this one because i'm going to make a hole here 
now select this face sketch select outer edge convert entity line okay again let me draw one center line if you move cursor you will find a midpoint of line so connect midpoint and this line press escape key to out if you select this line vertical 4 2 see trim entity just activate power trim just press and hold curse, mouse and drag see outer line is trimmed and we have one close profile now activate here extruded cut feature here I am going to choose either through all or either up to next up to next also means this is going to cut up to here circular pattern for circular pattern I am going to activate temporary axis and choose this temporary axis equal spacing angle 360 degree so that it's become full if you keep 180 see it will adjust it in half of the body 360 four number of instances feature to cut already selected look hole wizard here select tabbed hole ISO bottoming help I want to make throughout hole this is going to be M12 simply choose M12 up to next end condition here with thread call out say position select the face and place at center press escape key to out and just see the preview say ok now if you can't see thread just go to option documents property detailing activate look right click plain carbon steel edit appearance and uh, this color we given this one ok save lock nut m12 lock nut m15 see depth circle 27 depth 8 millimeter and uh, chamfer is same this cutout also same only the difference is diameter and m15 so let's see what possible we already saved let me select the first option make this one 7 enter ok chamfer we will keep this cutout also we will keep same circular pattern also tapped hole open now this is I want 15 15 is not here even in any standard DIN top to bottoming hole so let's go for 16 up to next position ok it's already there say ok look ok the diameter also we need to change 25 so diameter double click 27 see now don't save this one just simply click save as lock nut m15 save now lock nut m16 this is 16 we will keep as it is 30 we will increase this diameter this is 15 millimeter okay and there is one hole chamfer same one degree and this is also a three diameter hole okay we forget to add hole dimension so we will keep this one three millimeter six millimeter this one okay let's see what we can do first we will change 
डायमीटर डबल क्लिक थर्टी एंटर जस्ट रिफ्रेश एंड इट्स बिकम बिग ओके अगेन सेलेक्ट और इवन डो एडिट एंड हियर फ्रॉम सेवन फिफ्टीन ओके लुक कट आउट सेम चैम्फर सेम सर्कुलर पैटर्न ऑल्सो सेम एंड इवन इनसाइड होल ऑल्सो सेम वट वी हैव टू एड वी हैव टू एड वन होल हियर थ्री एंटर स्मार्ट डायमेंशन एंड डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस एज सिक्स मिलीमीटर दिस इज फुल्ली डिफाइंड स्केच एक्सक्लूडेड कट एंड मेक हियर थ्रू ऑल होल ओके नाउ मटीरियल ऑलरेडी प्लेन कार्बन स्टील appearance i am going to change this one of temporary axis now this one save as m16 lock nut now open m15 this color we did not change so click edit appearance yellow save now this one save it let's make the last part washer 30 and there is a 17 diameter hole 3 mm thick and there is one bolt and this is bolt this bolt m6 12 mm is the depth we will directly take from the system front plane is sketch activate circle and let me draw here two circles press escape key to out activate smart dimension the outer radius diameter 30 inner one 17 enter now activate here extruded boss base feature and how much thickness 3 mm keep end condition blind this is moving in perfect direction material plain carbon steel double click appearance and this is also i'm going to make dark let's save washer let's go for assembly now let's start assembly of crane hook now this is the assembly part now this crane hook is going to rotate in two direction okay so we will and these two plates are going to fix so first we will import this plate then these three spacer plate then there is a washer and there is a a uh, lock nut m15 at center you will see there is a end bush this bush goes inside and there is a lock m12 lock and three bolt we will import from system and similarly in another side so let's do this first file open and here go to assembly open now these parts already we made so that's why it's open so first uh, we are going to open support plate support plate here open now if you place it will if you click somewhere else and it will place but i don't want i want to fix at center so here drop down and here activate origin point okay again i want to rotate this so which axis y axis rotate y axis okay if you move cursor it will going to fix origin point move origin and see this is going to fix click 
and this is fixed uncheck now all the geometry going to be placed near to this open now next we are going to place plate spacer if you don't see here large icon now this is going to be more visible spacer plate okay just okay this is perfectly aligned so we don't need to apply any degree just click somewhere else now activate mat now select this circular body and this hole now system detect and create co-centric mat okay now select this face and this face and this is going to apply coincident mat okay now these three holes also going to fix with this so there is one command called copy with mat select part here see arrow next first relation i am going to select the hole second relation wall so select this wall see click yes again it will ask you would you like to do more so i am going to select this third hole and select this back side wall see this is going to fix say ok and close now import component i am going to select this end brush open now just rotate see this this circular part going to inside so this is perfectly placed somewhere here mat now select this hole and this one system detected concentric mat okay now rotate back side wall and this wall okay now there is a hole see so here select this face and this face coincident okay look this is perfectly apply now bolt we will fix at the end now this time let's say washer open now we need to change angle for this for the washer so i am going to change y click and rotate see mat select this face and this in internal face co-centric relation okay select this wall and back side of washer okay coincident mat now i want to make multiple so similarly i am going to apply copy with mat component next this one circular concentric for concentric relation i am going to select this one and this wall see both apply okay again ask you so select this third one and this wall see okay cancel component now for this yellow lock nut m15 okay now i want to rotate it so y axis okay this is perfectly met select this cylinder circular body circular face and this circular face concentric mat okay just rotate outside select this face and this face coincident mat okay okay let me perfectly align something like this copy with mat select the part next now concentric relation so i am going to select this hole and this face see both apply here 
say ok again for third select this circular face and this washer face see ok cancel now let us mirror this select this one spacer plate and what is the mid plane for this spacer plate right plane now drop down this and here you will see mirror component select mirror component here select all the component which you want to mirror so first this plate this one washer and nut ok select here next see plane already selected you will see the preview just check preview exactly everything applied or not even though we can change it from here uh, with the help of orient component ok let us say ok and we will check ok everything is on there let me save this crane hook assembly ok now let us browse component open now this position we have to change y axis change ok insert component bush ok insert component hook open uh, we need to change y axis that is it met select this face this face coincident now this is going to sit this face going to sit inside of this face ok look now drag this select this one and select this one co-centric mat ok now this is going to this face going to sit with this face coincident mat fine now select this face and this face co-centric mat ok now here going to advance width mat here we have to select two face width two face width the first face I am going to select this inside face now in second I am going to select one and two see this is going to align at center of the body say ok close if you check see this is going to rotate like this even this is going to rotate like this so this is going to rotate in two direction see ok let us uh, fix some nut here and uh, nut bolt here insert lock nut m12 because this is m12 we have to rotate so y axis ok perfectly mat select this one and this hole co-centric relation just drag select this face and this face ok fine now I want to fix bolt here 
so go to toolbox add in now and go to ISO standard bolts and screw hexagon bolt and screw hexagon screw grade C ISO 1048 okay just click and drag and move around circle and see this is going to once you move around circle then move around face fix click leave it will show you this option now here m6 now for length you will see this thickness 5 millimeter and this thick uh, 7 millimeter and 5 millimeter so length we will decide from here check m6 for washer face 12 millimeter okay and cosmetic thread say okay once you say okay it will ask you would you like to put so just make your cursor over hole once you fix hole just move cursor over face click hole face click press escape key to out see now just rotate to properly fix otherwise it will touch this is very cut to cut design see now this is also going to fix select this one spacer plate right plate mirror component now let me select one two three and this one next you will see the preview here say okay okay that's fine this is fully functional You will see the hole up to flash to this wall, not uh, beyond the wall. Normal face. Okay, let's fix inside. Now here I am going to bring one washer. Now here I am going to select X axis rotate. Perfect. Met. Inside hole and this. Say OK. OK. Drag. OK. Fine backside face and this sitting face this is going to sit here okay import lock nut m6 okay now we need to rotate x-axis one more time one more time that's it because this chamfer side side should come up met select the hole and this one go inside that's fine now here we have hole so we have to check just rotate this okay now come down okay let's do this way select the hole and select this hole now see both going to coincide each other say okay see the hole also it is going to sit with this look now I am going to okay let me do one thing front plane press control key select this and here choose mat parallel 
say okay now you can rotate only one direction now you can rotate this select this face and this face going to parallel each other okay cancel in mat option come down this both you can suppress because this should be move freely no i think we fix all the parts let's save okay take one position so because uh, i am going to make a exploded view for this save this position now activate here exploded view now select the parts which is going to explode first washers a uh, bolt now see all three selected add to step rotate or translate drag this side now here select done now select this one drag come down select done now i am going to select these three hole bolts nuts actually lock nuts drag which location is going to perfect okay this one is perfect done then comes to washer up to this face come down done now the center part drag make sure not going to met or coins collide collide with them okay done similarly okay let's drag little far make it done drag near to this done now let's move and this is also done let's make these three washers drag there is a scope done the last option plate done now plate go back done now select these spacers plate move done select this one comes here done 
done now select this one take up done washer take up done now what else okay this cap sitting cap done this one goes down done the last one i'll make down done click okay now right click collapse right click animate explode look one way only if you like to save this option mp4 16 by 9 50 save see the system going to save this option now this is already saved cancel right click collapse see here don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching